Okay. Hello, instructions for week 9, assignment 9b, a letter with a table inserted between the two paragraphs of the letter. The table will consist of three columns and five rows, and then you'll fill in the information. Once you filled in the information, you realize you need to add a new column. So you can either select the insert control button, or you can go up to table layout and choose because um, I'm in the second column, I can choose insert right. And then I want to add also another column between um, Barbara and um, Douglas, so I can use the insert control or insert above. And then I'll fill in the information. Once all of the information is filled in, you can make adjustments. And the first thing I'm going to do is align all of the values align top right. So they're even on the right hand side. Then I'd like to um, sort it in alphabetic order by the last name. And if two people have the last name, I want to look at their first name. So be anywhere in the table and from the table layout tab, select A to Z sort. And um, make sure that you have header row selected, meaning the first name, last name, region, sales amount will always stay at the top of this um, table. I want to sort by last name and I want it by text in ascending order, and then by first name, text ascending order, and then OK. And you can see Benson is first, and the two Murphys, Amber is before Michael. Um, the next thing I want to do is add another column, or another row underneath Michael. So I can either click in Michael's row and choose insert below, or I can just hover right here and click insert below. And then I'll type total and tab over to the last column, sales amount. So Word does have a calculation feature. So from the table layout tab, select formula. And it already automatically knows that you want to have equal sum above. The only thing I do want to add is, so it puts in the dollar sign for me and the comma. So I'll click here for number format and I'll select this one here with the dollar sign. It's going to also give me um, a decimal and two zeros, but we'll remove that. So OK, and then I'm just going to remove the decimal and the two zeros. So at this point, you can go to Table Design and select any design style you'd like. It does move it to the left. If you click the Table the Handle button, you can choose Center, and it aligns it in the center of the table. You can make the first row font size a little bit larger, and you can also center. That's a save and submit. Thank you.